Hi guys, and welcome to Jajaja Studios. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a face mask. There are a lot of tutorials, other tutorials out there, um, but I don't have a sewing machine. I don't have a sewing machine. So, I'm going to show you how to make one without a sewing machine. So, what you're going to need is, you're going to need tape. First of all, duct tape. I'm using polka dot because it's cute and I don't have any other kinds. And next, I'm using clear packaging tape. Yeah. Um, next, you're going to need um, two rubber bands, um, small ones. You could use a very big rubber band instead of two, but I broke my really big one, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, you're going to definitely need scissors and tape measure. Um, you could use a ruler, but it would be more difficult since you're having to measure your face and, you know, like that. So, um, I would advise using tape measure and not a ruler. So, the first step is cutting your clear packaging tape. So, um, I would start by measuring your mouth. Uh, yeah. So, however wide you want it to be, you know. So I'm going to do four inches on mine. Uh, you're going to need two, two four inch, well, I'm going to need two four inch pieces of this tape here. Cut it a little bit longer. Okay, first one. I have the first one cut, and now I'm going to place the other one sticky side down to my second piece. Okay, so here is my last piece. Step two. So I guess first of all, we need to measure how wide this mask is going to be. So it needs to come up, it needs to come about like right there, I would say. Okay, so. So we're going to cut out our duct tape pieces now for the top and the top and the bottom of the mask that are going to go, you know, beside this one. So, first of all, I'm going to place very carefully the duct tape on this line here. I'm going to go and fold this piece in half because this will be the bottom piece. So here is the mask so far. Now we're going to do the top part. So now what we're going to do, we're going to fold this down a little bit. Coming along. Awesome. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything about this sticky part right now. Next, we're going to do the uh, part of our mask now. that keeps it on. That part. Okay, so we need to measure how far it needs to come across. So, um, get your measuring tape and a 
comments left. Ow. Okay, we need to start where we want it to begin, which is like right there, I think. Yeah, that works. Okay, seven inches. So since my mask is, what is it? Four, it's four inches wide. Um, and the duct tape is two inches wide. I am going to line up the duct tape along this side here. So I'm going to go two inches long on this. I actually need two inches because I'm going to fold it over. Sharpie marker here just in case I need it. Well, I would have got that those two lengths. Um, I'm going to cover part of this with duct tape and then another, the other patch I'm going to cover, but not entirely. Once we get to this, it's too short. about making it long enough. Um, for your face. Okay, so now we're going to cut like a corner into it um, so that the rubber band won't make it fold up so much. So I'm going to estimate about where the center is. So now we're going to try this again. Again. Okay, now we have to do the other side in the same way. the rest of the a little bit more of the stickiness of it. Now we're going to get our other rubber band and put it on. Like so. You want to make sure that your duct tape is down firmly because with the stress and of the rubber band pulling, um, it could come undone. Okay. So I think this is our mask. Pretty cool. It's trying to keep me from breathing onto other people, so that's what it does. Okay, and I'm just going to take this piece of duct tape I cut off and I'm going to cover. It works and um, you can not only hear me, but you can read my lips, which is like really cool. So thanks for watching and um, one day I'll be posting more craft videos. <laughs> thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this and um, feel free to make your own and um, see if they work. <laughs>